I love sourdough waffles. We have a special relationship that goes back about 40 years. We're highly compatible. This might be stretching it just a tad, but the way I see it, sourdough waffles might vie for the title of perfect food. They couldn't be easier to make. The total prep time is about five minutes. Mix them up in the evening and they're ready to go in the morning when you are. Whole heirloom grain sourdough leaven flour produces a super light, easily digestible, highly nutritious, and exceptionally tasty waffle. No compromises. And no worries about trying to sneak healthy food past your kids. I guarantee they'll get scarfed. And a wide range of serving options makes them amazingly versatile as well. I'm making them basically the same way now that I was way back when, but the recipe has evolved a bit, mostly due to the availability of specialty grains that just weren't available years ago. Now I'm crazy enthusiastic about einkorn waffles and Sonora wheat waffles. Einkorn is challenging to work with for bread baking, but it's a cinch in waffles. So enough with the hype, right? Let's get on with this. I start by milling my own flour for maximum flavor and freshness, but of course you can just buy the flour you need. There are a lot of different flours that'll work. All the quantities and specifics are in writing on our site, so here I just want to show you that I'm adding a quarter cup of starter to a couple cups of a 50-50 milk water mix. And into that, whisking in, mix that up a little bit first, and into that whisking about two and two thirds cups of einkorn flour, freshly milled in my mock mill, the way I like it. So this is it. This is all you do for now. If, you're, if this is for breakfast, do this at night and then come back in the morning. By the way, you'll notice that this mix is super runny. That's the way it's supposed to be right now. Okay, see you in the morning. The next morning your batter is going to be all bubbly. Maybe frothy is a better description. Now just whisk in a little salt and baking soda and you're all set. For this quantity of batter I'm adding a half teaspoon of each. And I don't know if you can tell, but the batter has thickened up a good bit. It's still pretty thin, but it has thickened up. And that gives me just the right consistency of batter I like. The waffle iron is ready. I know because it just beeped and the green light is on. I love these Chef's Choice waffle irons. It tells me when it's ready. So away we go. I made enough batter for about seven to eight waffles of this size. Whatever size this is. Kind of medium, I guess. It's super easy to scale the recipe to suit your needs, and I cover that in the, in the written instructions. I love that with these waffle irons, you don't have to guess when the waffle is done. Perfect every time. Crispy brown this one is. Adjust this dial for however you like yours. Here's a handy tip. Waffles freeze really well, so when everyone is done stuffing their face and you've got leftover batter, turn the setting on your waffle iron down and finish them off so their waffles are maybe a bit on the underdone side. Whenever you like, take them out of the freezer, straight into the toaster, and finish them off without them being overdone. On these models, you can just flick this switch for a less crispy waffle. This one is with the setting turned down. And uh, this one is probably more yeah, this one's more on the uh, toaster-ready side. A little bit less done the other, than the other ones. Dark brown, light brown. Toppings, the field of all possibilities. Here's Denise's amazing stewed fruit compote with cloves and nutmeg. You can download her recipe off her site. Fresh fruit and whipped cream, pretty basic, but pretty amazing. Love these, lingonberry and cloudberry jam. Ja, sure, from Sweden. Your various fruit and maple syrups, gotta have them. On the savory side, eggs benedict on waffles, awesome. I was skeptical about this one until I tried it. Sourdough waffle BLT, your life will not be the same. You gotta give these guys a try. 
they're amazing.